Alright guys, so I've been working on this kind of passing system for a long time, but just found out some new details. Um, Boucher Show has made this famous on the fold pass, um, but we're going to talk about some different things that he's implemented over the years and some things that I like to do as well out of this, okay? So the first one we're going to work on it is when our opponent does a guard pull. So we're both nice and low here. He's going to grab his grips that he likes to grab, boom, and then as he shoots his guard, doesn't really matter which foot he puts up. I'm going to start getting a knee position here. I don't want to go into his closed guard. As I step backwards, I'm going to push his leg down. As soon as I see his knee go past vertical here, I want to put my chest on top of the leg right here. From here, I need to start driving my hip into his knee, so I need to scoop forward. But right here, he can go ahead and open your leg. He's still really strong, okay? But when you notice, he had to put this foot on the ground. So I'm going to use this right hand to pick up on his hip right here. And then I drive my hip halfway in between his knee and his hip. I'm going to drive this hip bone right here. So at this point, go ahead and pick up. I'm a lot stronger, okay? But this hand isn't doing anything at this point, so I'm going to control the collar and anchor it down. Now I like to turn his head to get that spinal misalignment right here. Now lift me here, Rolla. It's not going to happen, okay? Now I want to make his body more of a C, so I'm going to use this back leg. Guys, first of all, look at my toes on this foot. I'm not activating the toes here. I'm dropping it flat on the mat, and I'm keeping the weight all on Rolo's leg. From here, I'm going to scoop my knee underneath Rolo's legs and start making his body a C position. So as I scoop, I step. I scoop, I step. I scoop, I step. Are you comfortable? No, sir. This is a terrible position for Rolo. Go ahead and open your hip. <coughs> he can't do anything here. So now, I'm going to bring this foot, I'm going to bring the knee right behind, and I walk my hips back all the way into the side control position. This hand, I kept it on the hip the whole time. Sometimes I'll switch to the head already, or to the collar here, and keep him pinned. Let's take a look at this again, and then we'll look at this from other positions. Controlling the hip, right? Lifting up on it, making sure that he has no space. Driving my hip bone in. I like to get that spinal misalignment right here. From here, I can control the collar. Start getting an inside elbow position. And then I'm gonna walk, control. If I want here, I can switch this grip to four fingers right inside right here and keep my pressure down right here. Okay, so instead of having him where he could turn to help me with that spinal misalignment, I keep my shoulder on the inside of Rolo's chest. From here, I'm going to walk my, his legs up, step. Walk his legs up, step. Bring my knee underneath. Keep him in that C position as I walk back and secure myself. 